This is the time of year many northern residents plan trips to warmer southern climates. But the pandemic has put travel plans on hold for most of the past year. Now, as people begin thinking about travel again, we wondered what steps airports are taking to keep travelers safe. Our Ramona Morosis visited the Duluth International Airport this week, where she found the pandemic protocols are sky high. Even upon your initial entry into the airport, you will see that we have the mask required so that before you even enter the building, it's a reminder and understanding that masks are required from this point on for your travels. The seat spraying, the sanitation, the cleaning, the air filtration, all of those things that they're doing on top of what's being done, and not only here, but at other airports, um, is, is something to be very proud of. And we can tell that people are really wanting to get back and start traveling. We're seeing the passenger numbers definitely coming back up, especially with the vaccination that's out. We also have the sanitizing stations everywhere throughout. Um, and then of course we've got the plexiglass. And we still are operating a little bit under um, our capacity and our frequencies of what is normal for us. The other thing that's really nice is that other than one aircraft flying out of here right now, all of our flights are flying with a 76 seat airplane. So it, it is nice. It allows a little bit more spacing in that aircraft opposed to the 50 seat aircraft. So that is just another comfort for people that they are able to not be stuck. I mean, they can spread the folks out, you know, the passengers out throughout the airplane. I don't know how long that will last. It's each, you know, each of the airlines has their own kind of policy around that. And I think as everything with COVID, it's a continual review of that policy and, and if it still needs to stay in effect. But, oh, definitely, if people love to have a little more space on the airplane, there's no question about that, so. On the half hour, we also do the announcements overhead, just as those reminders, you know, for the mask um, and the, the social distancing. Honestly, you can't say it enough to passengers. It, it either just is a good reminder, because sometimes we kind of get caught up in our travels and we forget, um, but it also, it's just comforting pe for people to hear that that is, again, a requirement and what they can expect when they when they travel out on DLH. Middle seat policy. We've been lucky both Delta and United had followed that. Um, you know, for how long they do that for, that's really airline specific for them to decide. Right now we're operating where we've got pretty good space between our flights um, and the frequencies. And so that allows for ample space while our passengers are here within the airport. Right now, as you're seeing throughout the country, very competitive flight prices, um, very tempting <laughs> flight prices, uh, which is great, um, especially with our leisure travels. We have always been a heavier business travel airport. Um, we've seen that kind of flip a little bit where we definitely are seeing a lot more leisure traffic. As far as global, you know, I, global travel is definitely down right now, obviously because of the requirements and restrictions that do exist. But when you are traveling outside of the country or even sometimes within the country, just make sure that you're aware of those requirements. It's not even that um, you have to get tested, you know, to travel throughout our country, but going to Hawaii, you know, you have to understand what is required of you to go to Hawaii, to get in, you know, to that state. Is there quarantine expectations? Um, every state has their own thing, whether with the mask mandate, especially, and for traveling and quarantine. So just really, you know, take, you know, take the time to do your research and verify what is expected of the location and where you're going? People are, are, are wanting to connect. Some people haven't seen their families for a long time. And so um, friends or family, and so they're able to get and make those connections. Whatever it is, we're happy that, you know, we're providing an environment that gets them there safely. You know, you have some people that have had COVID um, that have got antibodies. Now you've got a lot of people that have gotten the vaccination. And also this has been happening for a year and people have really, been steadfast about staying home and, and, and not going far uh, for about a year now. And I think people are just kind of getting to a point where they're ready to go. Again, you'll see the plexi, the plexiglass barriers. The mitigation and the changes in the sanitation and the cleaning and all of those things, 
that's not going to change. That's here to stay, right? Um, I think we have all developed a process and an understanding and those those levels are not going to change once once we feel like COVID is kind of beyond us or we're beyond COVID, I should say. All the way down to communication pieces that are located throughout the terminal, whether they're on posters, whether they're on floors, whether they're on clings on windows, overhead speakers, our electronic boards. There's a constant reminder from the time that you even enter our airport of what we are doing here for safe travels and what we have expectations for our travelers to do. We want them to be healthy when they arrive. They need to wear a mask. We want them to socially distance and sanitize. And we do have the sanitation stations all throughout too, um, where you can just you know use the hand sanitizer as you're walking by. So, and, and let me tell you, I mean, just because we have in place what we have, we are constantly reviewing um, if things need to be updated or changed. Peterson said the federal government has mandated mask wearing in airports and on airplanes. She stressed that you must do your own research on the COVID requirements for your destination. The Duluth International Airport has COVID-19 resources linked on their website.